the front side lobe it just Can plant in which a person is telling you something. And then this is the hospital. Hospital love is mainly for for information. It deals with visual information and auditory information. Give a call and which color you are currently looking at. Temporal information and it's a great it, uh, it breaks down information in which you can understand it and also a tree in which when a person is the signal for pain to the sensory neurons which transfer it to the spinal cord there. The, um, in reflex action, the brain is not involved and it is a fast, fast action with no involvement of the brain. The spinal cord does all the processes. It transfers it to the motor neuron which then transfers it to the muscle serving as an effector. For example, when one touches hot water, he immediately retracts. The brain doesn't participate in that action. So what participated actually? Hmm? The what spinal cord, the receptor, the receptor and the effector. The spinal cord does all the processes. What informs you? Like diabetes, some situations of diabetes can cause the pain. Also, we have this, there's this genetic kind of disorder that the, some people don't feel pain at all when you prick them or, yeah, autism, some cases of autism also cause when you don't feel pain at okay. all. Is it only on some certain disease, as you say, that we say the brain is not the the whole kind of reflex of this. Now, as we mean, I step my leg on a hot plate. Yes. And I quickly step. That is when your brain processes everything. Oh, okay. Now the brain After the reflection, reflect action, that is when the brain takes place in the processes. For example, when you prick your leg, you you retract the leg first before starting to think of treatment and all. That is after the reflex, so the, the contraction. Action, the action of the mobility of the leg is controlled by which part of the leg? Was... Spinal cord. <laughs> it's by the brain, the motor side of the brain. 
Yeah, it's the motor set of the brain. That is good. Now, now this NAPSEL, based on your presentation, does it belong to the central nervous system or peripheral nervous system? This particular one. I did two them first. This one, does it belong to the central nervous system or peripheral nervous system? I think both. Maybe. In both. Yes. Okay, that is your answer, both. Yes. Any so, objection to her? For me, the neurons are the ones that take part in the nervous system entirely. They do all the processing, the transfer, and so the entire nervous system. So this one can be found anywhere? Yes. yes. Are you with them or you? Um, well, the, this one, since it has a mealy sheet, since this one has a mealy sheet, um, it's, best, it's supposed to be in the peripheral nervous system. Then, since it is attached to the brain too, we can say it's a glial, both in the neuron, I mean in the brain and in other parts of the body. I mean, I, 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 I love the first part of the first part of the answer. answer. This, based on the, if we are to justify, based on the presence of the Schwann cells, we will say this is specifically to the peripheral nervous system, because they are the one that malignate axons of the peripheral nervous system. But if, as we mean, this is in the um, central nervous system, then we can see. If I say central nervous system, yeah. the brain and the spinal cord, then we have oligo. Dangerous side. Do you get it? Thank you, and this is very, very good. Wish you all the best. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Who is who, who is the presenter? The brain is the most complex organ which coordinates. The brain is the most complex organ which coordinates all activities of the body together with the endocrine system. A very good day to you ladies and gentlemen present here. My name is Khadija Ahmed Bala and with me are and Al-Ladi. My name is Muhammad al -Ladi. We are presenters and participants of, in this competition from Yahya Ahmed Model Schools. We are here to present a project using simple using a simple principle of electricity to create a learning and teaching aid. As you can see, here we find a way of putting some materials, local materials that can be found around us in our homes, offices, schools, and then we put them together and see how we can have a kind of, uh, let me say, fun in learning about the brain. So. Here with me, I have the this thing. Um, is is a battery, so it's in, it's nine volt battery. So we have electric wires. You know, we can find it in spoiled electronic materials, and this one is just a kind of a cardboard. Let me say straw board or carton, and ordinary paper. And this one we find the light emitting diodes from touch lights and stuff like that. So here we have the picture of the human brain, and by the side we have the parts of the human brain. So uh, when you use this kind of a simple um, simple project to identify the part of the brain and the picture of the brain itself. So we'll be using it to identify when we have the red terminal on the part and one on the this thing on the on the label part. So as you can see, it emits when it corresponds. So, so if they are matching correct? Yes, when it corresponds. Okay. And if same it thing. Wrong, it will not bring Let's just show the example now. Like here, labeled is medulla oblongata. If you touch here, it will never emit, just touch. But when you touch at the corresponding part, it emits. Just check for the anyone. Thalamus. Okay, let's start checking at random. You see? So we can even have a try so. Just just try it. Like which part do you want to know? Okay, let's just check at random. Okay, we are lucky to get it at the first place. You can change. No, you 
<laughs> yeah, it's not level. It's never level. It's never. This is outside the brain, bro. Yes. <laughs> it's not inside. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Yes. Uh, this is the correct one, so as you can see, it I miss. So that's all we have. And it's a kind of a simple just ideology that we put on together and we brought out of this. Okay, let's check for it. It's never this one. It's this one. Never this one. It's never this one. It's not this one. It's not this one. I think we are not putting this thing. Not this one. So it must be this one. Because I've tried all of them. <laughs> okay, the function. So now, how how do you think this will aid the learning different part of the brain? Okay, it aids because learning gets boring when it's just in its form of theory or written form. But this one, as you can see. When you place this one and this one here, and you see the LED respond like it indicates, so it kind of make it fun and interesting. So it will never be boring to mostly kids. So when this one, when this kind of thing are are being introduced to junior kids, like in nursery schools, I think it. I don't even think it will help more and more and more in the aspect of learning. The parts of the brain and about the brain itself. So. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That this can serve as a small game for kids. Yes. Yeah. It should be incorporated into the anatomy museum, sir. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's, that's their project. Yes. <laughs> Unless when they are willing to donate we, to us, then. We'll make we can, another pair for you. Then, then, then we, we recommend train. We would recommend training to aid learning about the brain and neuroscience. Yes. It's different, not just only on the brain, but on vibe. It's really interesting. Yeah, and we have learned something also, right? Um, we're very much happy to collaborate with you if we can have a very big model of this so that we can take it to our museum. Students, usually, secondary school students used for. Uh, used to come for all these, uh, what do they call it, excursion, so they can see, so that they will be able to to appreciate this. Instead of always asking them, this is hypothalamus, this is it's boring, as you say. So let them try to figure as a game, right, so they will be able to know. Well, that is really interesting, and I wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It's so great. Wow. Avenger. Okay, can you take us around and explain to us what we have? So right now we have the human brain. Mm -hmm. So this human brain is actually divided into three parts. That's the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hind brain. Each part of this brain consists of different areas. Like in the forebrain, we have the cerebrum, the thalamus, and the hypothalamus. This cerebrum is actually the largest part of the brain. It is divided into two hemispheres, the left and right cerebral hemispheres. So these two hemispheres are joined together by a collection of nerve fibers known as the carpus callosum. Known as the carpus callosum. The left cerebral hemisphere controls all the activities being done by the right side of the body. Likewise, the right side of the, the right cerebral hemisphere is responsible for controlling all the activities being done by the left side of the body. We have the thalamus. This thalamus acts as a gateway for information to pass through from any part of the body to the brain, likewise from the brain to any part of the body. We also have the hypothalamus. This controls all the activities, general all the activities that is being controlled by the autonomic nervous system of the body. These activities include like um, your heart rate, blood circulation, breathing, etc. Next, we have the midbrain. This midbrain is also known as the mesencephalon, and it is responsible for movement, visual, and auditory activities. Finally, on, uh, in the part of the brain, we have the heat brain. This consists of the cerebellum, 
tell um, the jeweler of Longata bring them at the point. The seri bellum is the part beneath the seri bro and it's responsible for muscle coordination, movement, and also for balance. Next, we have the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata is the part of the brain stem that connects the whole brain to the spinal cord. And also, the brain stem itself acts as a relay center, like this is the brain stem, right? It acts as a relay center that connects this cerebrum and the cerebellum together to the, brain, to the spinal cord. And it performs activities it performs automatic activities like sneezing, breathing, coughing, etc. We also have the cerebral cortex, which is actually the surface of the cerebrum. It consists of 16 billion neurons. The exterior part is known as the gray matter and it consists of nerve cell bodies, while the interior is regarded as the white matter, which consists of soma axons, dendrites, and nerve fibers. Finally, we are, there are other parts of the brain that we need to show here. We have the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland controls all the endocrine gland that are responsible for secreting various hormones to various parts of the body for various development purposes or maybe for other purposes, processes all over the body. We also have the amygdala. The amygdala is an hormone-shaped structure located deep within the brain that is responsible for controlling emotion, fight and also for detection of fight and flight sensations, also known as fear or stress. We have the hippocampus as well. The hippocampus is a seahorse-shaped structure located within the brain as well. It's responsible for storing of memory and also memory accumulation. Finally, we have the single gyri. It is an arc-shaped convolution that is placed right above the carpus callosum of the brain. Oh, that is so great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. I mean, you have summarized the entire, let me say, neuro, neuroscience. Well, let me just ask a question about this. This is a woody material, right? Yes. You did it by yourself? Yes. Or somebody assisted? No, we did it by ourselves. Okay, now, what's the, what is the idea behind all this roughness? Why can't you make it smooth? Yeah, because the brain is made up of sukai and sukos and gai. That's the grooves and elevations on the brain. Because the brain is not entirely smooth, it has super, it's, this, it's called super's uh, guy. Okay, yeah, that is good. But why, and why these colorations? It's why don't you make it beautification? Yes, the color of the brain is not entirely white. <laughs> because, because well, I believe sorry. this, um, maybe just to... Yes. Yeah. Blue yeah. is not green matter, it's covered in green matter, okay. and it's not white in color. Oh, this is really great. It looks like me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As it goes from the manual for the material, we are presenting. Take the... Okay. Um, we are presenting to you. This, this is just a small replica of yeah, this that one. one. Yes, yeah. we are presenting to you as also part of the exhibition. The reduced form. Yes. Okay. That is good. That is great. Now, maybe before we go, just want to ask one question. Now, do you agree drug abuse damage your brain? Yes, um, if you give me more time, I would like to talk about these diseases that also affect some brain disease and brain disorders. No, I just want to be straightforward. Do you agree that drug abuse damage your brain? Yes. Alcohol? Yes, sir. Smoking? Yes, sir. Right? Yes. Now, if you have yoga ones or if you go back to your community, what information are you going to tell them so that they can desist from taking unnecessary drugs or stop from smoking or extreme alcoholism? Actually, taking alcohol and all this smoking, marijuana, cooking, it actually has a great effect on the brain because as we know the brain, sorry, as we know the brain um, is controls like everything you do, like your, before you see, before you move your hand to touch something, before you walk, the brain is being connected. So anything you take into your body that is harmful has a great impact on your brain. Yes. So I will actually tell them that taking all these 
all these small cigarettes, it might actually start from small, but then it keeps on compiling and accumulating, which causes a great damage. Usually, it's a particular side of the brain, like when you take um, alcohol, it usually damage the hippocampus, the cerebral cortex, and all these parts. So when you take too much of this alcohol, it eventually damages the brain progressively, not at once. It's usually damaged, it's usually yeah. progressively damages it. I think you have learned why so white about the brain. Maybe my last question, apart from the nerve cell, neuron, do you know any type of cells found in the area of the brain? Apart from the nerve cell, neuron, do you know any type of cell? Apart from neuron. Apart from the neuron. <laughs> yeah. So we have, we have what you call the supporting cell, the glial cells. The glial yes. cells. You remember glass cells? Yes, Can you mention two? Um, Maybe astrocyte? Mm -hmm. Or ligodendrocyte? Schwann cells? Microglia? Uh, yeah, you have tried, you have tried. Why well, this is so fascinating and interesting, and I really am um, 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 learned. You have reminded me on some things that I have read long time ago. But your presentation has reminded me, and I will share, I will share. Uh, Prof, I have this question to ask. Okay. Uh, why are you dressed like this? They are future doctors. Yes. They are dreamed to be doctors, right? <laughs> you are welcome to the college. You are welcome to the College of Medical Science. Okay, but specifically neuroscientists? Neuroscience. Yeah. Okay. I can see there are our students in future, inshallah. All you need to do, you have to read very well, right? And be committed to your academic. I have to be very good daughters, hmm? right? Your parents have a lot of hope on you, so you, 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 you just have to, because you need their blessing. You need your parents to pray for you. If your mother pray for you, your dad pray for you, that prayer will not go, it will be on you. So the blessing of parents is far above anything. So just do your best, work hard, be committed, and be good child. That is all. I wish you all the best, and we welcome you to the College of Medicine. Sorry, I forget. Yes, So what is the what is the idea behind all these concepts? What are you trying to achieve? Let's hold this one for me. Voice our name. My name is Abraham Ali Adama. Here with me, Musa. Science one, science one. Science one. My name is Abraham Alam, uh, Abraham Ali Alama. Here I am with Musa and Kalamu. We are here with a robot. It, it's a control robot. It has a controller here. We have so many components in it. So many things that we are made up of it. You see, starting from here, it's used with um, let's see, cardboard or. There are many things here. We see. This is a, is a percentage please. Here it is used to on it. You can off it and also you can on it. Okay. Then things were used, there were wires and if you look back here, okay. you can off it through here and it can be charged okay. through here. Okay. So with a charger? Yes. It, it, and it shows percentage of battery. And also it mo it moves left, right, back, it ha the hand moves it. He can show you the practical of it. So it moves front, back. And also in it, you can connect. There's a Bluetooth in it. You can connect it. Okay. Are you serious? Bluetooth. Yeah. It works with a Bluetooth. Yes, it works with a Bluetooth inside. It can be connected. We use wires, cardboard. We use wires, cardboard. You see, these are all man-made things. It, there's no artificial things here. All it was made by a man. And all you can see here, you see, the, the speaker is now using. Okay. You see, many things are used. So, well, where is this sound coming from? It's coming from inside. We are from inside. connected here. Yeah. Okay. It's connected. With it's connected to your computer. Computer. Oh, so the speakers are here. Yeah, the speaker is So the sound is coming, it's there. Yeah. So you see the hand can move. All these are things we are seeing 
um, every day. This is a cover of a drink. You see, we use things like this to, to, to make creative things. We don't just see everything like it's a waste. Everything is creative. And everything we can use to make something meaningful out of it. So, okay, that is good. So, this is a, this is a security device. So, it detects with motion. So, I would like if we make an example with someone, one of you. What do you want me to do? What do you want? We just come and just pass. Just make a space here. You just come and pass. Yeah, you Somebody should come and pass. pass. Yeah, you just pass. I should pass. Uh, yeah, we'll give you. Give space, to pass. Give space please, pass. man. Give space. So I should walk. No, it's very sad. So you change, you say you switch device. Yeah, I can pass. You see, it detects with the motion that you move. Ah, ah, wait, 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 wait. Yes, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Confirmation. Do it again. Okay. Confirmation. You wait for a certain time. Don't worry. Don't worry. You see, it detects your hand. Well done. <laughs> ah. so, it detects your present, you passing. That is good. <laughs> you see? So, so this this mainly used for security. So, security. Yes. Okay. It detects your presence and if you are not there, so you can use it at your house anytime. You can use it for many things, and it can also be modified. You see, these are just hand and me. Yeah. You know, if we're having like support, it can be good and it can be modified and it will turn to something else. And you don't even think that it's made by man. So going forward. Going for this, just uh, we are not Another done. With, one again? We are not done with it, sure. Okay. But it's still in progress. It's just it's still in progress. So there's a motor robot. There's a there's a place for battery, which is here. Which is here. So these are all components of it that are made of the car. They see the as you can see these are tires. You can see, still uh, they are materials made. It's a handmade too, but they are just materials that we used to make up of it like so now it's on it's still on progress and still on process so there's an application for it and when it's done it can move it's using a remote so it's still on progress okay. so now right now it's not functional yes because we are still working on it yeah. okay now coming back to this one yes sir uh, i have some questions first of all uh, let's look at it again Let's see the front. They are made up of cutters, as you can see. It's okay, do you wish you it? Done it. What is what is the, the front, uh, the front side? Mm. Uh, as a robot, does it have camera or cameras attached to it? No, sir. It doesn't? Yes. Does it have sensor? 
doesn't. Okay, because uh, a robot that we know, usually part of the essential components of robots should contain uh, either sensors or specifically camera. Uh, so if there is no camera that it can be able to identify different locations, but at least there should be sensors, uh, which should be imbued inside the body of the robot. Uh, so at the moment you don't have this. Uh, let me have two questions. You design this by yourself or somebody assisted? No, it was designed ourselves. Your team? Yes. Your team did this thing? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Secondly, does your robot has brain? Yes, sir. Where is the brain? And how does it function? No, we don't have it here. Sorry? We don't have it here. We only make it some piece of control. Okay. So, man, this is the brain of the brain. This is the brain. <laughs> this is where you control its movement, whatever actions. This is the brain. So if you've got the brain at home, how does it move? Eh? Chief. You know, in cars we have brain box. Yes. Those those guys that went to mechanic, you know, we have brain box. That is where it controls everything regarding that particular vehicle. Car. Okay. Good. Well, this is really interesting and I, I love it. Very innovative, uh, creative, um, at your level trying to uh, have this kind of things is really fascinating and I want to encourage you, as you said, if you have money, you can build more than this. Grants, a lot of grants are available. I think through the help of your teachers, we can explore you through, we have some technical grants, grants that are meant for innovations uh, related to technology and you can assess them. It doesn't matter, the little you have idea, the little idea you have is what you're going to tell them, and if they are convinced, they will, will be much more ready to support you. Hmm? So wish you all the best. In addition, I think this one can also be nice this. Um, make the car move. So, let's have a hand. It moves, it can go front, and go back, but it's having low power right now because it can't steer the wheels, the front wheels, but it can move the back tires. It does this. It's currently on low power. It doesn't have enough no power. No, it's the power that is. Our really power low. is low. Yeah. Okay, the power is low. Okay. That can move it on the surface. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if you hold it, it's moving. I see. Front and back. Mm, you see the tires. Why? Maybe, maybe it's, it's this. The if surface. you put it on the floor, on the floor, maybe it will move. Try putting it on the floor. Okay. But still, the power is low, right? Mm. Okay. What is the source of the power? Is it battery? It's a dry cell battery. Okay, dry cell. It's a dry cell. Does it so, have any charging area where it can test the relation to zero cells? Check the batteries. We just open the car and remove the point in which the battery are connected to the main board in the car. Then you change the battery and couple everything back. But oh, didn't nice. you think if you use the battery that can be charged with it will be more? Yes, it will, but the batteries that are rechargeable are a little bit heavy. So that's why I just use the dry cell battery. Okay. So this is a car? Yeah. Does the car have a brain? Sorry. No, it doesn't. It doesn't no, have brain. I think it has a board in which everything is controlled. And we consider that uh, that as the brain of the car, or what? Yes, somehow. You're smart. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that all you have, or you have more? Okay, the second one. Okay, second one. All your projects. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is a darkness switch circuit. Uh, there are some components. What is it meant for? What? A darkness switch circuit. Yes, let me show you. Yes. Uh, when it is night, it will on itself. But when it, it is, uh, when it sees the light, it will off itself. Okay. Yes. This is a like LDR, which is light dependent resistor. Mm. Yes. The originality of that light dependent resistor is when it see the uh, 
when it's uh, it is a night day, it will uh, off itself. But when it is a daytime, it will on itself. But uh, to change the uh, polarity of that uh, light dependent resistor, we need uh, various components. Yeah, this is a, a BC five four seven transistor. R1, uh, which is our K ohm, 1K ohm resistor, R2, 50K ohm resistor, and this is the light emitting diode and the cell battery. That's how this works. Wow. When you when you put light, it will off. When you remove it, so this is on. the idea behind these all these solar panel we have. Yes, it's that during the day like this. They will go up. Yes, instead of instead of to be using diesel, uh, petroleum to put in generators to uh, perform various work. For example, when you are uh, when you are when you are when, when you want to work and you are more the the money that we earn on a part on that particular work is uh, maybe one thousand naira, and there is no light. You need to put a uh, fuel in generator. So. How much are you going to pay for the pay and the force you are going to apply to on the generator so it will reduce the, your money. It will reduce your money. So, but when you use uh, this solar and this darkness switch circuit, definitely you can perform your work without having any worry about cash. Okay. That is good. So, what about this one? So, this one. It's also part of your project, the same school. Yes. Okay. Because they want to show that I really science school. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is a tractor commonly used for road construction. Uh, the purpose of uh, construction this one is uh, there is a day there was a day when uh, tractors are uh, constructing road road uh, and road is very close to our home. So they are disturbing our sweets uh, in these sounds. So that's why I decided to construct a, a tractor which can use water. It doesn't use... Uh, Sorry, use... you did this alone or you did it with other, with friends, with no, peers? No, I did it alone okay, because it, it alone. takes me very long time. Oh. Yes. Okay. So if you apply pressure like this, to move and, and this one because they are leaking they cannot move if you put if you press it it will it will remove all it all it the bomb is that's how it operates because it, it is leaking, that's it's why leaking, where yeah. air yeah. will enter, and air definitely air if it is entering, uh, it will no work. December is this. So ideally, yeah. what you are trying to show yes. is that when you are pulling water yes. from there, yes, it enters into this place, and it will allow this to yes, move up. it will allow it like this to move like this. If it is this, like this, if you if you if you press it, it should go directly and push it back. And push it back. It should be like this. And also this one. If you, if you press it, if you press it, and if you want to, and if you want to return them back, you are going to do like this. Okay. Draw the one. Yes. Draw yes. so it and backwards. Yes. That's the usage. Now, let, let, let me ask this question. Yes. You said you are motivated to, um, to construct this because one fateful day you were disturbed yeah, by a director yes. construction company in your house. Yes. Now, 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 the question I want to ask. Yes. What concept of physics did you apply it yes. okay. that makes you to develop this? Okay, things? fluid mechanics. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good mechanics. Yes. That is good. That is That's great. great. A good well, you have already you have really shown that you are a science student because everything you demonstrated here 
it's a concept of science okay, and that's really TV. interesting and I want to encourage you to do more. Okay. Uh, technology is going fast and there is no boundary to it. So we can start little and only God knows where we're going to stop. So at least with these little things we have around you, you have an idea. Uh, the beloved, continue nurturing your idea, uh, ex expand it more and believe one day, one time, you make names by inventing something very useful to your society and to your community. Yes. And we wish you all the best Thank from science to right. Okay, okay. Science to great. Congratulations. We have something to present. And this one is a typical use of neuroscience. Typical what? We, we, we are the prestigious Jubilee Islamic Science Secondary School. Mm -hmm. We are here to present Jubilee. So, this is a typical use of neuroscientific knowledge in a world of scientific knowledge, innovation, creativity, and productivity. It, yeah. It's a combined ultimate use of parental and hospital love in which we think, plan, organize something. For instance, it is a work of our brain where the occipital lobes of our forebrain integrate the visual information and the frontal lobes reason with currently light in solving a problem of high rate of unemployment through creativity and productivity to use the available and immediate materials in the creation of, in the creation of different shapes and colorful decorative objects. Mr. President, here are the available and, and immediate materials used. It is a, a plastic rubber, rubber plastic. And then a, this is the waste military feeding bottle with the decorative material, the decorative pattern. And, we, and, a, and in which we use a, a natural tree. And white we use a natural clay and white cement and fiber and adhesive clues to create this thing. And we use this thing to remove a person from it. So with this, we see uh, the impression of uh, doing all this brain work is to cut out rate of uh, unemployment because by, uh, by creating this thing, you can sell it to other person and he can buy it and you can gain a money from it. Oh, that's good. So you you designed this one by yourself? Yes, we designed it by ourselves. Honestly? Sincerely? Sincerely. We designed it sincerely by using natural clay and fiber. Somebody gave you borrow you, you no, borrowed from somebody? No. We, we can you dash it to me at the end of the program since you designed by yourself? Okay. Can you give me? Yes, I Sure? Sure. Because we go and find the natural clay in grammar, grammar patterns behind us. Okay, I agree, I agree. Now let me ask this question. So you are telling us that you use your brain yes. to initiate this. Are you the first people that started doing this thing? I don't act in our school. Around your school or anywhere? No, we don't. I don't think so, but we, we create it. We just create. Oh, this is one you have done by yourself? Yes, we just reason and create something. Like so you use your brain to create money, right? This yes. is the, in summary of everything, yes. brain can be used in entrepreneurship. Think of something designed, Neuro give it up. Neuro Neuro exactly. Oh, so that is good. That is really interesting. So you need to think of more of things that people want and begin to create or design so that we can also buy. Okay, hmm? can you buy? Oh. <laughs> this one is already mine because when you say you already dash me. <laughs> then you can buy this one. Why? Then you double the I price. Dash you one and yeah, I'm not buying this one. I like this one more. <laughs> but what is the use of all these things? For decoration, for right? Yes. Okay, for decoration. Yes. Yeah, we're going there from here. Apart from this.